So we're going to show you how to divide first monomials. Again, monomial is a term divided by another term. So if you have 8x to the 6 over 4x squared. I can write that, I'll show you the long way, 8 over 4 times x to the 6 over x squared. If you remember when you multiply fractions, you multiply the top times the top, and if you multiply 8 times x to the 6, you end up with that. And you multiply the bottom times the bottom, 4 times x squared, which is this one. Now, what is 8 divided by 4? 2. And x to what power? The fourth. Why 4? Very good. You subtract. So here is the trick to dividing polynomials. You divide the numbers and subtract the exponents. We divide these numbers and we subtract the exponents. Subtract. And let's practice with that. Once we get this mastered, we'll make it a little bit bigger. Negative 15 a to the second, b to the third, c divided by 10 a b squared. Let's take the two numbers and divide them. Now you know our software wants the answer to be exact. So you can leave it as a fraction. If you simplify that, that's what? Negative what? Over 2, very good. We're dividing by 5, that's 3 over 2. Let's look at the a's. a to what power? Two. Why 2? Two? It's not 0, right? Oh, it's 1. It's all right. So that if there's no power, it's always a 1. That's right. We subtract them 2 minus 1, which is 1. b to what power? 1, we just don't put the 1 if it's 1. And c to what power? 1. So divide the numbers, subtract the exponents. 2 minus 1 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 minus nothing is 1. So you don't put the AB on the bottom? Nope, it's already gone. Now let's try another one. Negative 12 n to the 6. I'll go back to an easier one. Divided by 3 n. Divide the numbers, subtract the exponents. So what are we going to have? Negative 4 n to what power? Fifth. This is 20p to the third q squared over r to the fourth divided by negative 5 p squared q squared r. Let's divide the numbers. 20 divided by negative 5. Negative 4. P to what power? Yep, 3 minus 2, which is what? 1. 
I'll take the one minute, I'll get rid of it. Q to what power? What's two minus two? Zero. And R to what power? Four minus one, which is three. So when you clean it, that's negative four. P to the one is P. And Q to the zero, anything to the zero power is what? One, one. so I don't have to put it there. Because one times a negative four is still negative four. So negative four P R cubed. So, so far we did a term divided by another one. A monomial divided by another monomial. I'll try one more. I was about to move forward, but I'll try one more. Mm. Doesn't sound good. Notice I can't really divide 10 by 8. I can simplify that. I can reduce it. If I take 10 and 8, I can divide them both by what? By 2, yes. So by 2, this is what? 5. 8 by 2 is what? 4. Y to what power? Notice always goes on the top. It's the top minus the bottom. 3 minus 2, 1. x to what power? The top minus the bottom. 0. z to what power? Top minus bottom. 1. Clean it. Negative 5, y, z over what? 4. x to the 0 is 1, and you drop it. Now let me make it a little bit bigger. 10 x squared plus 15 x. And you want to divide that by 5 x. Notice it's two terms, binomial divided by monomial now. <laughs> That's still not bad. Because you can take this and break it down to two problems. 10 x squared over 5 x plus 15x over 5x. So I took it and broke it down to two problems. What is 10 divided by 5? That'll be 2x to what power? 1 plus... What's 15 divided by 5? 3, what happened to the x's? Gone. 2x plus 3. Let's try another one. 21x to the third minus 14x squared divided by, I just wrote them different this time, 7x. Again, I can take each one of them and divide it by 7x. Let's get the answer to each one. 21 divided by 7. X to what power? Second, good. There's the minus. What's 14 over 7? Do we have any X's? Just one X.
Make it even bigger. 9x to the fourth minus 6x cubed plus 12x squared divided by negative 3x squared. I don't care how many terms we have on the top, as long as you only got one in the bottom, one term, you can break it down. So we broke it down to three problems. And now let's try to divide them. What's 9 divided by negative 3? Negative 3x to what power? Second, good. Subtract the exponent. Here's the minus. What's 6 divided by negative 3? So what's minus a negative 2? Positive 2. x to what power? 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. Good. There's the plus. What's plus divided by a minus? Negative, so let me change that to a negative instead of plus, minus is silly. Twelve by three, which is what? Four. Four. X to what power? Five. Nothing. So instead of plus negative four, I go to minus four. Fourteen x to the eighth plus ten x to the fifth minus eight x to the third divided by negative two x to the third. Break it down again to 14x to the 8th over negative 2x to the 3rd plus 10x to the 5th negative 2x cubed minus 8x to the 3rd negative 2x to the 3rd. The first one is what? Negative 7x to what? Fifth. There's the plus. I'll just do it slowly. What's 10 divided by negative 2? Negative 5x to what power? Second. There's the minus. Let's find the answer to this. What's the answer to that? Negative 4, right? So now I just got to change them. I don't like the plus and the minus and the minus and the minus. So this will be what? Negative 7x to the fifth plus and a minus will make it what? Minus. And a minus and a minus will make it what? Positive. A couple more examples, then we'll add the last piece. Anyone still writing? Go ahead. Ten P to the fourth Q to the fifth plus twelve P squared Q to the fourth minus P Q to the third all of that divided by two P Q squared. Oh. 
Break it down. 10 P to the fourth Q to the fifth over 2 P Q squared plus 12 P squared Q to the fourth over 2 P Q squared minus P Q to the third over 2 P Q squared. Let's see, the first one, what's 10 divided by two? Five, P to what? Third, because that's four minus one. Q to what power? Third, five minus two, subtract the exponents. <coughs> 12 divided by two, oh, I don't know why I made a fraction, I don't know if I need the fraction. I'm already thinking about the last piece. 12 divided by 2 is 6. P to what power? 2 minus 1, 1. Q to what power? 4 minus 2, which is 2. There's the minus. Now I can't simplify the numbers. There's the 1, there's the 2 here. And what happened to the P's? They cancel, what about the Q's? One Q. Three minus two is one. And the way you need to write that, because if you write it like this, they'll mark it wrong. Q over two. You don't put the one. That's My math lab does not like the one there. So you have to write Q over two. Last one before I change gear. I think you get the hang of this. Every example I did so far today, every one of them in this video, the bottom was always a one term. So what do we do when the bottom is not a one term? After this example, that's what we're going to handle. We're going to be looking at that stuff. Again, we can break this one to negative 5, a to the 7, b to the 6, 5a, b to the 3rd, plus a squared, b to the 4th, over 5a, b to the 3rd, minus 15a, b to the 3rd, over 5a, b to the 3rd. we dividing each one by 5a b to the third. What's negative five over five? Yeah. Try again. One. Negative one. A to what power? Six. B to what power? Three, very good, six minus three is three. Notice I can't simplify the number. There's one and there's a five, because there's a one here, we just don't put it. One and five, you can't simplify them. So you still have a five on the bottom. A squared divided by A. Subtract, two minus one is one. B to the fourth and B to the third. Four minus three is what? One. I'll come back, clean them after. Here's the minus. 15 divided by 5, which is what? 3a to what power? Why 1? So it's a 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. b to what power? 3 minus 3, which is 0. 
and let's just clean them. You don't have to put the one here, so it's negative a to the six, b to the third. I don't need the one here, so a, b over five minus the three, and what happens to a to the zero and b to the zero? They're both one, so negative three times one times one, still a minus three. And that's my answer for that question. As I said, everything we did, every example today, the bottom was a one term. So what are you gonna do when the bottom is not a one term, if you have two terms? What do I mean by that? I'll wait till you finish writing. So what are you gonna do when you have a problem like this one? x squared minus 5x minus 24, and you wanna divide that by x plus three. Now, later in the course, not in Algebra 1, but in Algebra 2, we'll show you how to factor. We're not going to discuss factoring in this class, but when you factor, actually, you can take this and clean it, get rid of it. But there is no factoring in this uh, in Algebra 1. Only Algebra 2 has factoring. So, But we need to divide that. We're going to divide that just like if you were to divide some numbers. So if I came to you and said, can you tell me what is 158 divided by 13? You start with what? Can I divide the one by 13? No. Can I divide the 15 by 13? You go, that's a one. Then you go one times 13, which is what? 13, what do you do now? You subtract this from that, right? You take a 13 from 15, which is what? Two, and you bring that eight down. 28 divided by 13. Now we continue, what's 28 divided by 13? Two, what's two times 13? 26, so the answer is what? 12 and a remainder of two over what? 13. You can say a plus if you want to, but we never put the plus. We go what? 12 and two 13. That's how we divide numbers. No new stuff here. Well, we're gonna divide this the same way we did with the numbers. We're gonna take x squared minus 5x minus 24 and try to divide that by x plus 3. That's how we're gonna do it. It's called long division. And the first thing we're gonna look at, just like with numbers, we start with the one. Can I divide the one by the 13? Well here, can I divide x squared by x. That's why I look at. Can I divide these two? What is x squared divided by x? So I'm going to put x on the top. And now let's multiply. What is x? Just like with numbers, we put the one, you go one times 13 is 13. We're going to do the same thing. Going to multiply this by that. What's x times x? x squared plus What's x times 3? 3x. We did here 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 1 is 1. Then after we put that, what was the next step for us? To subtract 13 from 15, right? So let's subtract here. If you subtract, what's x squared minus x squared? Gone. What's negative 5x minus 3x? Try again, negative 5x minus 3x. Negative 8x. You're adding two negative numbers. And let's bring in this one down. Just like we did here, bring the 8 down now. And let's divide them. Let's divide this one by that one. What's negative 8x divided by x? 
Negative 8, no x's. The x's will cancel. And now let's multiply. What's negative 8 times x? Negative 8x. What's negative 8 times a plus 3? Negative 24, right? And let's subtract them to see what the remainder is. What's negative 8x minus negative 8x? Gone. What's negative 24 minus negative 24? Gone. Your remainder is 0. So when you divide them, x squared minus 5x minus 24 divided by x plus 3. If you divide them, your answer is x minus 8. We'll do a couple more. Let me try this one. 16x squared plus 9x minus 6 over 2x minus 1. You're always going to start with these two. What is this one divided by this? So I'll put, go to the side. What is 16x squared over 2x? 16 divided by 2 is what? 8x. Yep, the answer is 8x. Very good. You divide the numbers, subtract the exponents. Now multiply. What's 8x times 2x? What's 8x times a minus 1? So let's subtract them now. 16x squared minus 16x squared, it's gone. 9x minus a minus. What's minus a minus? So what's 9x plus 8x? 17x. Okay. Minus... I didn't mean it to be this uh, bad there. Um, fraction, I mean, to start with. That's the 6 here. I didn't mean it to be ugly, but that's okay. I can do one thing. You know what? Let me change one thing. There's nothing wrong with this. I just don't want to start quickly. Let's make that uh, an 8. Let's just change that to an 8 for now. So if that's 8, what do we have then? Instead of 17, what do we have? 16. 16. I just don't want to start with fractions yet. That doesn't mean you won't see them, but not yet. We're just starting with this. And now let's repeat the process. Otherwise, you can deal with the fractions. What is 16x over 2x? What is it? 8 plus 8, not 8x, eight 8. What's 8 times 2x? 16x. What's 8 times a minus 1? Negative 8, right? So here's my answer. Let's subtract them. 16x minus 16x, gone. 
What's negative 6 minus a minus? That's a plus. What's negative 6 plus 8? Plus 2. That's your remainder. Remember when I divided the numbers early today, this one, I said my answer was what? 12 plus. Look how I wrote my remainder. This one divided by that. You see it? Well, this is going to be the same thing. When I divide these, it's going to be 8x plus 8 plus the remainder of which is what? 2 over this one. So the remainder is going to be this divided by that. This is the quotient. That's the answer. The 8x plus 8, and that's the remainder. Let's try one more. We have time for one more. I'll make it a little bit bigger, just in case you like them so much. x cubed plus 3x squared minus 8x plus 2 divided by x plus 5. Which one are we going to start with first? X. x to the third divided by x, right? These two. And that'll give me what? X squared. X squared. So there's the x squared. What's x squared times x? X to the third plus what? X squared times 5? 5x squared. And let's subtract. What is x cubed minus x cubed? Gone. What's 3 minus a 5? Negative 2x squared. And I'll bring the next one. I'm going to bring all of it down so I don't have to look back up there. I'm going to bring the whole thing down. So this way I don't have to keep going back to that line. So I'm just dropping everything down. I brought this one down and this one down. Again, as long as this power here, the power of x is equal to this or higher, equal or higher, it can still divide. So what's this divided by that? Negative 2 what? Yeah. 2x. So let's put a negative 2x here. What's negative 2x times x? Negative 2x squared. What's a negative 2x times 5? Negative 10x. Let's subtract. gone. Negative 8 minus a minus, that's a plus. Negative 8 plus 10, which is what? That's a 2x, and there's the plus 2. As long as the power of x is higher or equal to this one, you can still divide them. That means I can still divide them. What is 2x divided by x? Try again. 2x by x. 2. 
positive 2, right? Let's put a plus 2 here. What is plus 2 times x? 2x. What's a plus 2 times 5? Plus 10. And let's subtract now. Gone. What is 2 minus 10? Try again. Negative 8. So my answer now when you divide them, when you say what is x cubed plus 3x squared minus 8x plus 2 divided by x plus 5? We say, oh, there's your answer. It's this one, <coughs> x squared minus 2x plus 2. And there's a remainder of what? Negative 8. So minus 8 over what? x plus 5. Or I can say plus a negative 8 if you want to. Which one I don't know which one they like it. You can leave a plus the negative 8 over that or minus 8 over that. I'm not sure which one. But that'll be the answer for it.